Good Monday morning, guys. Now, it's well, it's nearly Monday afternoon. Sure, I went off to work this morning, brought me a cup of coffee. I don't remember much of the conversation. I was completely out of it. Uh, I just remember saying, bye, and then it was half past ten. So, I've had a real good lie-in. I feel a lot better for it. Today, it's going to be Wales play Georgia today. So, I've got the England game to watch as well. From yesterday so it's going to be a world cup rugby day until michelle comes home from work before that i'm gonna have some coffee turn the kettle on for some coffee and have a bit of toast for breakfast sorted not quite slimming world in fact definitely not slimming world the toast but i'm on holiday uh definitely back on the slimming world 100 percent tomorrow yeah see what we can get after for christmas Moving on. Okay guys, I just got a phone call from Michelle saying, there's an Asda van sitting at your back door. I thought, oh God. I never heard them knock, didn't I forgot they were coming, to be quite honest. <sighs> but anyway, that's all all the shopping delivered, that's all our uh, Slimming World stuff for next week, because we are definitely on it 100%. No ifs, no buts for me. I'm going to give a Boris Johnson promise, no ifs, no buts. And we'll not be going and weighing in this week, but we will be going weighing in next week. Decided that we had a bit of a rough weekend or whatever and the weekend before both feeling pretty pretty low to be quite honest but we'll get back on it i've had a, a few days rest which is what i need needed a little bit of a mental health break and then we'll get back to it moving on well what a change in the weather it's definitely autumnal by heaven said that it's nearly end of the it is nearly end of september now so getting into october where all the leaves fall off the trees and that. Now you've noticed I've got the light on. So darkness has come to a morning commute. Well, uh, I think it's three weeks and then they change the clocks and get a little bit of daylight going into work and then that's it until next May, March. Or oh, 21st of December when it starts warming up, uh, lightning, warming up, lightning up again. Yeah, uh, that was, a holiday I needed, over with. Ooh, nobody ever comes that way. That's a holiday I needed, over with. I needed that for my mental health. Basically, that was just a that was just a break to break up the pressures of work. To be quite honest, which is why Michelle wasn't off. Now I'd planned it for a long, long time. I must admit. Um, I actually booked the, the Friday off in January this year. I wanted to because I knew we wasn't really going away. I booked a Friday at every local holiday, so I had a long weekend. But as it happens, um, Michelle didn't have the holidays left. She's got holidays left, but her holidays run in March to March. And if it snows over the winter, she'll need a couple of days just in case. Whereas for me it's alright because my holidays will start in January uh, and I've still got Christmas holidays to come. I've also got a holiday at the end of this week, believe it or not. I've taken time off to do to help somebody out with, with filming. Which I'm really looking forward to it. A two day shoot in these woods here, I think. I'm not quite sure, but it is somewhere around here. But yeah, anyway. I do waffle. I'm on my way to work, Mon uh, Tuesday morning. <sighs> Back into it. Speak to you soon. Speak shortly. Or even better still, moving on. Hi guys, that's me on my way home from work. It's a horrible foggy, it's still foggy. It's been like this all day. It's, uh, visibility's quite low in some places. Not too bad at this point, uh, but it's been down to about 50, 60 yards, and it's kind of been like that all day. So, miserable day for all, and it's 
damp and it's not cold. It's quite pl it's quite quite warm. It's 13 degrees, but it's uh, yeah, it's been better. Uh, you know, you can feel that cold, like you, when you're getting a cold coming on. I can feel it. There's a bad cold going around at the moment again. So I was hoping to kind of miss it, but I can I can feel something coming now. So I think it's time to go home and take some preventative uh, hot toddies or something. Something that makes me, that makes it all go away and makes it feel better. Hopefully I won't catch it. But if I do, I've only got three more get ups anyway. You know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday I do. Then we'll go home see how I feel tonight. Before that, I have to get home. Obviously, traffic's moving a little bit slower with this weather, uh, so I'll just take my time and get home. Hopefully, Michelle's taking her time and everything's fine with her. Anyway, moving on. Hey, I've just heard on the news that the Supreme Court in England have, vote, have uh, basically ruled that the prorogation of Parliament was illegal. It surprised me, to be quite honest, it really did. That means that Parliament will start sitting again at half past 11 tomorrow morning. Which means that we're going to have another few weeks of arguing and nothing. And I think they should just shut the lockdown at the moment and start again because it's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. They're just showing themselves up to be idiots as far as I'm concerned and yes that is a political statement but all they're doing is going in and they don't know what they want half want this, half want that, they won't vote for that they won't compromise, they won't work together and at the end of the day the people that are suffering are the people that gave them their mandate in the first place, do this do the job, we voted to leave Europe let's leave I didn't vote for it, I must admit, I'll let everybody know I didn't vote for uh, to leave Europe, but that was the decision. Now follow through with it and stop messing about. They keep going on about no deal Brexit, we're absolutely disastrous for, for Britain, but for three years now our economy has been suppressed because of it. You know, how much damage have they done in the last three years? Um, it's just non-democratic and they need to sort it out my Boris Johnson yeah no ifs and no buts I think that's going to come back to bite him because there are some ifs and there are some buts he can't do what he wants we're not going to go out by default though I wish we would anyway with that I'm just around the corner from home that's my political moan for Monday uh, what? Well, the traffic's just stopped for some reason. Ah, somebody's turning. So that's my political moan for Monday morning, Monday afternoon, evening, after whatever. God, I can't even know what day it is. It's Tuesday. That's because I didn't uh, go to work yesterday. So that's my Tuesday moan, Alan Fell. Anyway, before I make a complete fool of myself, moving on.